What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexia so and welcome back today to Crazy Craft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. So today, I want to begin by making a few items that we don't yet have. So I've been looking once again through the witchery mod. Oh, it's so, so good. There's amazing, amazing things to be done. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I was looking at some of the brews. I want to try out one of them today. But I thought it's kind of about time we fully embrace the witch. And we actually made ourselves the witch's hat and the witch's robes. So what we are going to need for these are a few special items that we don't currently have. We're going to need uh, creeper hearts, we're going to need impregnated leather, and we're going to need golden thread, in which we actually need to make, um, what are we, a spinning wheel? Yeah, we need to make a spinning wheel, but the thing is, we do need a few other bits and pieces. A lot of it is whiff of magic. I don't think we've got quite enough whiff of magic, so... Uh, Whiff of Magic is Rowan Wood, I think. We can go cut down some Rowan Wood. But yeah, basically, this witch's gear, if we actually wear it, it gives us an increased percentage of producing a second brew when we actually make the first slot. So this is kind of good. I think this is efficient witchering um, because it stacks up and then we'll have a 70% chance in order to actually produce, like, more brews. So it's better for our ingredients and, yeah, pretty good. So... At the end of last episode, if you remember, we actually were messing around with these things here called sun grenades. Now, I actually have another one of these quartz spheres in the collector, and we haven't tried them out just yet, but they are actually charging from this area. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. They need like a full day in order to get one of these. So, uh, I just basically got this one just before, and I've put another one in. So, we'll give these ones a bash. I think there's something to do with, like, when you come, I guess come across zombies and stuff and if you throw them then they'll do some cool damage it says it works against the undead so maybe there might be some other mobs which might be useful i really don't know but anyways let's go and grab some of rowan wood so uh, yeah i kind of did as i kind of mentioned last episode a bit more cleaning up in this general area and it was a bit of a mess i'm gonna be honest with you guys it wasn't that good so let's grab an axe here and let's see what we can do it's um <laughs> Who the heck are you? Smokey Bear? Hello? Uh, okay, so we, last time we came here, we logged off definitely and there was not a bear here. And now there is a bear, Smokey Bear. <laughs> Hello, dude, how are you doing? What are you doing here? Uh, okay. You're really tall, wow. Okay, this, do we, do you talk? Can you, oh, he talks! Smokey Bear talks, okay. Oh my god, okay, I know what this is. I know what this is, right? So, if you, um... <laughs> this is amazing. So, if you um, are from the States, you'll probably know what this is about. But if you're not, uh, Smokey Bear or Smokey the Bear is kind of like a mascot in America for kind of preventing fires, I think. Especially forest fires. And we did just burn down this area, so I suspect some shenanigans have come here. And Smokey the Bear is now helping us with our fire safety. All right, so what voice should Smokey Bear have? Uh, he should have, like, a bear voice. So, uh, hi, thanks, yeah. I'm sure it's a nice day in the beautiful forest, isn't it? Uh, okay, I've got a choice of, it sure is, Mr. Smokey Bear, or leave me alone, you oaf. Uh, it sure is, Smokey Bear. Okay. It's time for a fire safety quiz. Thanks, Sia. Tell me, who can prevent forest fires? Uh, you? I guess that kind of is your job. Your sole purpose on Earth, Smokey the Bear, is to prevent forest fires. But okay, no. Wait. Only me. Only I can. I guess... I, I suppose it was my fault, isn't it? So, alright. Fine, fine, fine. Very good, thanks, Sia. Who is the cause of 9 out of 10 forest fires on the crazy crust ever? <laughs> Um, Thick Noodles, Dan TDM, me. Hmm. Well, seeing as... <laughs> oh, the guilt. The, the, the fire-making guilt is real. All right, so who has been causing the fires on the server? Is it Justin? Is it Dan? Or is it me? Oh, I suppose we should own up. There's no lie. You can't lie to Smokey the Bear, right? All right. You're doing really well, thanks to you. One more question remains. You're in the witchery area, which has been ground zero for numerous fires on the server. Have you taken extra precautions and made sure that you're being extra careful this time? Yes, of course. Or who cares about the forest? Who cares about the forest? Screw you, Smokey the Bear. Did I just get Rick rolled? Did I, <laughs> did I seriously just get Rick rolled? No. What? <laughs> How is 
is that possible? Smokey the Bear, what have you done? Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? What the heck is this? Have I been imprisoned by Smokey the Bear for crimes against forest fires? <laughs> wow. Okay. Can we get out of this? How do we get out of this? Is there, a, is there a button or something? Or is this my punishment now? Is this my life now? My life now on Crazy Craft is this. So it's going to be... What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Orthaxia. Welcome back to episode 54 of Crazy Craft. Today, we are still in this small jail cell. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I know the culprit. I think I know the culprit. So I didn't look on this video... I haven't watched it yet, but I did see the title of Justin's last Crazy Craft, and it was called Smokey the Bear. Don't you judge me, sheep. What are you doing? Where are you gone? You can't even look at me with the shame. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling Justin may be down to this, and I don't think we can get out. Maybe this is my punishment. I probably deserve it. And I have a funny feeling there's only one way to get out. <sighs> the shame. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <sighs> Rest in pepperonis. God damn you, Smokey. Stop you. Why are you always judging me? Why? Oh, God. Okay, out of sheer curiosity, what happens if we agree with him? Okay, so such a nice day. It sure is, Mr. Smokey Bear. Yes, only I can prevent forest fires. I did everything. Yes, of course. Oh. Hip hip hooray! You've finished a fire safety quiz! Here's a water bucket, just in case. <laughs> oh. oh, the music is epic. Thanks, dude! Actually, this is really useful. Water buckets are pretty good for witchery. Oh, you're so. I, oh. Although you did imprison me, where is that? Oh, it's up there! <laughs> so that's where I got put up to. Oh, wow, that was so clever. So, I bet you guys had good money on me being the first person to do a prank on this server, but no, Justin did. Oh, my goodness, and it was a really, really clever and creative one as well. So, <laughs> thank you, Justin, for teaching me a lesson, which I probably deserve to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and watch Justin's video after this to see the sort of setup for this, but make sure you guys go over to Justin's channel and check out his Crazy Craft episode. Uh, I'll link it in the description, actually. It's called, uh, I think I think it's called Smokey the Bear. I'm pretty sure of that. So, yeah, make sure you go over there and, uh, yeah, drop him a like and show some love for Smokey. You're just going to chill around here for now, aren't you? That's okay. You're welcome. Now, can we finally chop down a Rowanwood tree, please? Just, just, I, I like you. Pat your face. Okie dokies. So we're collecting ourselves some more rowan saplings. So these are going to give us the whiff of magic that we need. So we put these in the kettle. We are also going to have to make a, is it called a spinning wheel? Yeah, it is. Look at this. This is a new item. Oh, there's two. But I think this is the witchery one. And we're going to need to make another attuned stone, which is diamond... And, uh, la, 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 la. okay, more with magic diamond and lava bucket. So we're going to have to go and get another set of lava. Uh, but okay, that's not too bad. We just need some item frames, some wool, some wood. That's not going to be too bad to make. And then that we're going to have to use to, did I just get another sapling? I hope so. Um, so I think eight might be fine. I think we only need a couple extras. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go and grab myself another bucket of lava. So I think I know where I can get one quite easily. I could just go to the nether, couldn't I? That might make more sense. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, another sapling. And dun, dun, dun. Boom, it's made. And it's so beautiful. Uh, pretty cool. So let's stick this. Uh, where should we put it? I guess here would be fine. Oh, it's the wrong way around. No, I wanted the other way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bear with. Bear with, lads. Does it break? Does it break? It doesn't break. Are you kidding me? What? Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, it just has mad durability. So let's put it sideways there. That looks pretty. And yeah, this is the spinning wheel. So I think what we need to do for this is we need to make ourselves... Um, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Let me think. It is... Golden thread! Yeah, there we go. And we actually need hay bales in order to do this. So, there is like a hay bale man in the middle of the map. <laughs> I've got a death marker there now. 
<laughs> oh, God damn it. Um, so yeah, there is a hay bale man, but we won't rob him. We'll go and find another hay bale dude. Uh, before we do that, though, let's actually... I think we can make the hat. So let me just double check this quickly. Uh, we need impregnated leather. So we need to get some hay bales and we need leather. Huh. All right, here we go. Let's try the sun grenade out. Okay, so there is a zombie right here. Should we give it a go? Hang on, let's... Um... Let's draw him a little bit away. So this is probably better on, like, big groups of them, but let's see what happens. Should we see what happens? Oh! <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. It just glows. Oh, is it a light source? Whoa! I'm now blind. I, this was rubbish. This was a terrible idea. It did nothing. Huh. Well, that's highly disappointing. So it... it like flew up in the air and caused light to emerge which obviously causes burn damage but it's not scaled up to the mod pack although having said that that would be pretty decent in like a zombie dungeon you know with like loads and loads of zombies in ah oh, oh we get the uh, sphere back as well that's pretty cool oh i completely forgot as well so one of the items that we need for the witch's robes is the piece in the middle and that is a creeper heart so this is kind of cool. The thing is, there's never any creepers around when you actually want them, right? I think that's the rule of Minecraft. Um, so we need to actually try and kill a creeper with our Arthana, and there is a rare percentage chance that he will actually drop a creeper heart. So we 100% need one of these to do the recipe. So we really need to hunt some creepers. Where are they going to be? Um... Ah, finally, I've found one! Woohoo! Oh, there's two! <laughs> Perfect! Okay, cool. So, right, this is gonna take a bit of weasel cunning here to take this guy down. We're gonna have to hit him like 10 times with this thing. I don't wanna weaken him just in case he dies of like fire damage or something. The good news is this Arthana now actually has knockback on it, which we enchanted it to have, so that's pretty useful. You stay away from those cows. You know nothing of the cows! Okay, good. So we're hoping here that it's going to drop a uh, creeper heart, which would be amazing. Oh, there's a beaver. Oh, God, there's beavers. Oh, protect the beavers. Okay, you're running away from me? Why are you running in the water? Actually, you know what? Stay in the water. That's probably good. Oh, two. Oh, God, no, don't you dare blow up. Don't you dare blow up on me, buddy. Come on, three more hits. Two more hits. Ooh, one more hit. No, don't blow up. Oh, oh no. That's right. We got it. Yes. Man, that was really hard. Oh my goodness. So I was looking through. Uh, David, this is a creeper heart, basically. It's kind of cool looking, but I was looking through, and the one thing I noticed is that Arthana doesn't have looting, which is really, really, really annoying, especially because the whole point of it is you get items from certain monsters and stuff. So I think what we're going to have to do is we'll. Uh, we've got another Arthana. Whoa, there's another one down here. All right, should we test our luck? Oh, there's two more. See, that we've had really good luck in this general area. Um, so let's... I've been weakening them up like that, and then I've been sort of poking them. And now there's two. Okay. Well, we'll test our luck, because why the heck not? That one's gonna... No, it's not gonna die. Okay, good. Get rid of you. Go away! No! Okay, there's one down. But this one's got, like, one health. Go! Did it drop me anything? No, still the one. Um, but yeah, so this one's actually been pretty good. But, oh, God! You so look, you nearly did that. Get in, get in the lava. <laughs> Lol. Oh, God. Pac-Man, what are you doing? Oh, there's a creeper outside the house as well. But look who's come to visit, ladies and gents. It is, of course, Mr. Pac-Man. Da -na 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 -na. He's eating all my trees. He's ruining the scenery. Okay, okay. So get stuck to the tree. That would be perfect. No, stop eating my trees, you greedy sausage. It's got like a thousand health, this one. Oh no, dude, what are you doing? Stop destroying my scenery! I have to replant these trees now. It just looks like I've burnt down more of the place. Come on, Pac-Man. Give us a hand here at least for once. Don't you dare burn down that tree. Don't you dare eat that. No, that's going really close to Dan's house. Oh god, hang on. <laughs> no, you stay away from the... Oh god. Don't eat the plants either. Don't eat the mantis machine. Oh no, where are you going, dude? Come here. Come here. Stay away from Dad's. Yes, he's dead. And maybe he's dropped something cool. Let's go and check. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Soldier trench coat, flippers, a sandwich, an assassin's chest plate. Pretty cool. Oh, the shield pair. Hey, a brand new shield. A mithril helmet. Wow, that sounds like Lord of the Rings. I don't know if that's any good. Spaghetti, carrot soup, and a paper crown. <laughs> How incredibly useless. <laughs>
Wow, we only got one whiff of magic from all those saplings? That is terrible. I think we should just about have enough. So what we'll do here quickly is before we go and check that out, let's actually go and make ourselves... Oh, we're going to need one more whiff of magic, I think. There's one on the wall. I guess we could take that, but kind of annoying. Um, so let's actually make what we need here. So we need um, impregnated leather. Boom, boom. Boom. There we go. Nice. So we need four of those. I think we're going to need some more of these. So I'm going to have to get some more whiff of magic. You know what? Let me just rub this one off the wall for now. Uh, where is it? 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 There it is right in the middle. Boop. Excellent. Pick it up. James, where's it gone? Where's it gone? And we can make eight. Perfect. So what else do we need? Let me get all the, like, the ingredients together and then this won't take too long. Oh, okay. So... I made a mistake. Um, yeah, so we don't actually have to move this over here. I did move over here and it didn't work, so I decided to actually read what it says. Which I know, that's amazing, right? And we actually need to put Whiff of Magic inside as well as the hay bale, and then that will produce our string. So I had to go and cut down more rowan trees. Whoa, look at that, it moves. Hey, pretty cool. So yeah, I went and cut down some more rowan trees. Um, and I got myself some more Whiff of Magic. That seems to be like one of the most important ingredients so far. So we're definitely going to have to try and farm a few of those together. Um, but yeah, there we go. Golden Threads. Nice. So I think I've got everything else I need. I had to make a few more impregnated leather. Um, and I killed some more cows. No, I found some more leather. I didn't kill any cows. Because cows are very nice friends. We've got loads of steak, though. I feel really guilty. Uh, <laughs> nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so, is that going to be enough? I feel like that may be enough. So, let's give this a go. Oh, no. I've not got a... I've not got a crafting bench on me. Hang on. Let me make one. It burnt down in the forest fire. What can I say? <laughs> so, let's uh, stick this here. There we go. Nice. So, let's give this a go. I think I've got everything I need. So, we're going to go witch... Uh, witch's hat... Yes, oh, I've made three. No, <laughs> James, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, have I wasted all my ingredients? Why would I do such a thing? Where's my creeper heart gone? Oh, sheep. Why do you always see me in my darkest moments? <sighs> so let's try that again, shall we? I had to go and get everything again. I have no idea why it did that. Like, that is kind of weird. There, boom, right, fantastic. Finally, we have <laughs> everything that we want. So we've got the witch's robes and three witch's hats. We look ridiculously cool. Look at that, whoa. So nice. Um, and yeah, what we can do now is we can now have like a better percentage chance when brewing. So just to finish off this episode, I want to do one quick brew. Okay, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. So this one is called the Brew of Sprouting. Now, I wanted to do this because one, it's quite cheap to make. And uh, two, it just looks kind of fun. So I wanted to give this a go. So this is uh, Rowan. It is Red Flower. It is Alder. It is Mandrake. It is Hawthorn. It is Tongue of Dog. And that should be our brew so it's kind of like a horrible brown color now if we do this do we just scoop it oh <gasps> look how much we can get woohoo we got five can we get another one no we got oh cool we got five instead of three pretty good so let's find somewhere safe and let's give this a go don't know really what to expect with this but it seems pretty cool so let's give this a go three two one and go Ooh, hey look at that so it it makes like it makes big, long things of... So what if we just chuck it, like, that direction? Oh, wow, look at that. So this apparently is a really good way to make bridges over, like, water and stuff because it will make bridges... Oh, wow, check that out. That is so cool. So if we throw it right at our feet... Look at this. Instant nerd pole. Look at this. Like, troll pole in for days. And is this... Kind of, what is this? Oh, that's amazing. Look how high we go with just one. Hey, these are really good. Boop. And then we can get all the way up to the top. So we could actually do two of these in one go. This is going to be amazing for, like, not flying. So we're not really flying that well. But can we make bridges over water? Oh, no. <laughs> I screwed that one up. Hey, look at that one. So that's pretty nifty. There's so many of these, which are actually really cool. So we'll definitely make some more. But unfortunately, that is about it for today's episode of Crazy Craft. So thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you go and check out Justin's channel as well to check out how the prank is made. And of course, Dan, we can't forget Dan. Good old Dan. Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you once again for watching. Oh, oh, by the way, 
We're doing really, really well on the uh, like ratings for the episode, so thank you so, so much for that. If, as usual, we can aim for over 3,000, that would be incredible. We can make it happen, we must believe. So yeah, thank you so much. Please hit that like button before you go. If you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Minecraft done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rrrr, tip.